everyone thanks so much for clicking in and tuning in um today i'm going to be talking about glass skin so what is glass skin glass skin was actually coined in korea and what it basically means is having very smooth translucent and shiny skin kind of like you know clear piece of glass and so for today i wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite products in my skincare routine and makeup routine for when i want to achieve this glass skin and i have sensitive combination oily skin so i wanted to show you guys the products um, to achieve that and really it's all about having products that provide an abundant amount of moisture so that your skin looks very like bouncy and also just having very smooth skin so using products that maybe have um, some sort of exfoliating effect on it a gentle exfoliating effect on it for you to have smooth skin so without further ado if you want to know how to get this makeup look then definitely keep on watching first i'm actually going to be going to be using this toner right here this is one of my favorite toners um recently and it's bayer's lab ginseng purifying toner i was sent this to try but i've been loving it um, i recently had um, some breakouts and this really cleared up it has pure ginseng in it and it has some glycolic acid um, so basically um, it really helps with smoothening out the skin and also just balancing the ph levels in your skin so i have clean skin right now and i am just going to wipe it all over. I just want to tap it in, tap it in, that's it. And then next, I've been using the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. Fermented um, essences are great for anti-aging um, and also brightening and hydration. It's similar to the SK2 Essence and I've actually reviewed the SK2 Essence. So I will link that video down below along with uh, Mish Essence. So I just pour a little bit into my hand and then I just tap it into my skin. And then I always, always take it down my neck because the neck is where you see the signs of aging first. It's like neck and hands. Next, I've been loving um, the Bayer's Lab Soothing Day Cream um, and yeah, it's been really, really great for calming my skin and a little bit goes a long way. It's really cool. It's like a bluish color, but I sort of make your skin blue. I just need a little bit and I just dot it all over my face. Doesn't break me out, irritate me. I feel like Bayer's Lab has really good skincare products that are very natural and great for sensitive acne prone skin so next up we are moving to um spf obviously um, you still need spf this is one of my favorites right now it's biore uv aqua rich watery essence spf 50 plus pa plus 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 that's what i love about asian sunscreens because they have the pa plus 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 too and this is so great if you have oily skin or you live in hot humid weather because it's like this watery texture. I'm gonna dot it on my face and then on my neck as well. And you just wanna blend it across your face. Get that moisture into your pores. People like rub their face to get it in there. Don't do that. <laughs> because that causes wrinkles. So I just wanna pat. Pat, 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 pat. Last step is we're going to use eye cream. Even your eye area has to be moisturized. It's the Innisfree Jeju Orchid Eye Cream, which I have been loving and obsessed with. And I need a little bit. And then dot it. And then. So, now with makeup time, we're really going to just try to keep the sheen. Um, and enhance it. All we're going to be doing is just like covering my dark circles, evening out the skin tone a little bit, and we'll also be adding just a little bit of highlighter just to enhance that shade. What I'm going to be using is this NARS Creamy Concealer. It's my favorite. Um, and I'm just going to be using just a little bit on my ring finger, and I'm going to be just covering my dark circles. The other thing with this is if you are going to be covering it, 
make sure that you really blend your concealer because you do not want it to even look like you have concealer on. Now I'm going to actually be taking a illuminating the <laughs> illuminizing concealer. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. So it's kind of like a cheaper alternative to like um, the YSL Touche Clot, which is so amazing, but we all know it's pretty pricey. So I'm just gonna put that like in the dark areas. So around my nose, around my chin. And then with our nifty sponge, we're just going to be blending all of that out. So next what I'm going to be doing is using this Camay Color Mixing Concealer. And it basically has these three different colors for me to mix and match to be able to really get into you know these little little spots that I want to cover up. So I have some spots like around my chin. I'm gonna cover up there. Just gonna be dabbing it. So I'm going to do is using this Laura Mercier powder. And then just putting my sponge in here just a little bit, and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes because we don't want the concealer underneath your eyes to crease a little bit around the nose area as well and just a little on the chin area wherever you kind of just get really oily just want to powder just a little bit if you want i'm going to go into the brows if you don't want to do this just get this and just watch the rest of the video this is the shoemir brow pencil and it's the best and all I'm going to do is just very naturally fill out my brow with the whole glass skin look I feel like majority of the time when people wear it they have very natural makeup so now I'm just going to use a cream blush again this is not something that you have to do unless you want to be extra like me and this is the Sonia Kashuk um, cream blush in rosy rose Rosy Rosé, <laughs> um, and it's really pretty kind of corally pink, and I'm just going to dab my finger in it, and I definitely think that cream blush is more fitting for like a glass skin look because cream blush has a little bit of a dewy sheen, and also in the summertime, um, when it's hot and you're sweating, cream blush is actually a little bit more forgiving when you're sweating because powder blush can just like get patchy. So I'm just going to dab here. I'm not going to do too much. So for highlighter, there's a couple different options. What I'm going to go for may not be something that you want to go for. Um, if you want to go a little bit more natural, enhance the glow. As you can see, there's still glow, right? You can still see my skincare because we only powdered the central part of the face. And the skincare is really what makes this glass skincare routine. But for highlighting, I am going to be using this Ofra highlighter from, I'm sorry, it's called Rodeo Dry. <laughs> um, so, look at how, so a C motion highlighter, put some in the inner corners of your eyes, Cupid's bow, down chin right here, a little bit here on the forehead. And that. Finally, this is like the Holy Grail product. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It is so beautiful. The glass bottle. Um, and seriously, this is going to make your guys look. If you guys don't have this, obviously this is expensive. Um, any sort of like uh, moisturizing spray or luminous setting spray will do. So I'm going to do, I'm going to shake it up, and then, spray. Finally, I think a really pretty lip, a natural lip, would look really pretty with this look usually. So I'm using this Can Make Stan Bomb Rouge, and I'm just going to This is like one of my favorites. I use it almost every day because it's so moisturizing and it gives the prettiest color. So this is the look. This is my glass skin routine. 
plus makeup. Um, so as you can see, the skincare really, really helps with the whole glass skin look because it smooths out skin, it moisturizes it, and plumps it, and it serves as a really good base for the rest of the makeup. And then I just powdered areas that um, I typically you know, get oily in, and I only powdered it just a little bit. I used illuminating concealer, and I also did some spot concealing. The rest of the makeup is natural. But you do you, whatever makeup you wanna do works with this makeup look really but i just feel like it looks prettier with natural makeup thank you guys so much for watching and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you also want to achieve glass skin um and definitely leave comments down below on how you achieve glass skin i would love to know i would love to see what kind of products that you guys use too and once again thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next one bye